to the land. This truck right here keeps running out the road. And he's doing, I'm doing 75, 74. Wow. Anyway, maybe we'll get some video up today. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably just nothing. <laughs> um, enjoy your day, people. I'll see so you have a place while. to go and to bug out if you got to bug out. I, I'm not going to bug out unless it's absolutely necessary, but it's always good to have a backup plan. But, you know, it's, make sure it's several different ways you can get to your bug out location. Like right now I'm on the interstate. Of course, I would never take the interstate in a bad situation. And, you know, I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm meeting some people, but... Um, so I'm taking the interstate, but I have a couple routes as a backup route to that mountain over there That's where I'm going today Enjoy life Oh my god, there's a ladder following me in a generator. They're following me Can you see that up there? That's where I'm going Man, I love the country the smell of fresh firewood burning people's you know wood stoves keeping it warm the sight of fresh beef on the side of the road. It, it can't beat it. All the streams running off these mountains are, are full, flowing. It's just, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. A lot of old barns around here, which would be good if you needed shelter. A lot of land for sale, nobody's buying. I guess nobody's got no money or everybody's selling because they need the money. It's just beautiful up here. I was driving right through here one day, not too long ago, and a big old tree limb fell out of the tree. Hit the hood of my truck out there. Put a den in it. Can't have nothing nice. So if you're trying to buy something, keep it nice. Keep it in the garage and don't drive if it. The way I see it, if it don't serve the purpose I need it for, I don't need it anyway. I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful up here, man. You know, it's not a bunch of houses crammed on top of each other. These old boys up through this holler, all through here, they know, everybody knows each other and help each other. And it's just the way it should be, you know. Small town USA. Take a minute and show you around. As you can see, we didn't cut the tops out of no trees. My ears are bopping, but it's beautiful. There's plenty of deer and turkey in here. A bear too. It's kind of wet. It rained for two days. Pretty hard. So this is all ours. All this up through there, all the way up to the top of the first mountain, and it flattens off for about 100 yards. Not flat, but gradual slope. And it goes to the top of that mountain, which is all rocky cliff, national forest stuff that you can't you can't never build on, so nobody's ever gonna come do that. All up in there. I almost got stuck right back there. All up through there. This used to be something here was a chimney and it got knocked over. We got some supplies and stuff laying around. We've been cutting roads, but you can see way up in there is a the fun little cabin I'm working on. Let me get something done on this almost beautiful day. It's about eight degrees colder up here. So that tells you temperature changes. This is a flat spot we've picked out to have a little setup. Little bus over there. Little those that we have access to. Actually it belongs to my uncle, so I have access to it anytime I want. Well, sorry I didn't get a Look at that beautiful view. Sorry I didn't get a lot of video. My camera went dead. So I guess tomorrow I'm coming back. So I'll get some tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for watching my channel. And just a little sneak peek of what's to come. And look up on that mountain. Beautiful. Oh my God, there's a ladder following me in a generator. They're following me.